Hello everyone, it's me, Rob Bidolf. I am a children's author and illustrator. You want to see a picture of me when I was a little boy? I don't know why I'm showing you this, it's a bit embarrassing. Oh look, I thought it'd be a good idea to put a picture of me as a little boy in this particular book because it's about a class full of school children. Haven't they got a perfectly round head? <laughs> anyway, you might know me from books like this one. It's called Wide Awake. It's part of my Dinosaur Juniors series or maybe You've even seen this one about pirate penguins called Sunk. There we go, I like this cover. Can you see the way I've made the words sort of start on torture and then come out? <gasps> Can't I? Clever. <laughs> right, but today I thought I would draw a picture from this book, Show and Tell, the one that has the picture of me as a little boy in it. And there is one particular thing that, you can see what happens in this book basically. All these kids, they bring in sort of more and more like crazy things. This guy's got a really good pirate ship hat. Darcy here, she's got a pair of gold violins and everything that each child brings in is even more ridiculous than the, than the previous one. So look, Eddie here, some Venus fly traps. Mo has got a laser sword. Can you see that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oliver's spacesuit here, that's spacesuit. And you probably can't see it, but it says Armstrong on it. I wonder if it's actually Neil Armstrong's spacesuit. But by the time we get to here, look, it's getting quite crazy. We've got Quinn who's brought in the speediest racing car in existence. But what we're gonna be drawing now is this alligator that Rebecca has brought in, her pet alligator. Alligators are a lot of fun to draw. So I thought that's what we'd have a go at doing. Let's put our piece of paper here. Let's make sure I get it in the middle. What do you think? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Right, so grab yourself a piece of paper and your pen or your pencil, whatever it is that you want to draw with. And let's start, shall we? Now, you've done these before with me, but I will just explain what we're gonna do. You're gonna copy exactly what I draw, okay? And we're gonna do these drawings a little tiny bit at a time. Okay, so even if you think you can't draw, I'm gonna to prove to you that you can draw. It's just a question of knowing the order to do the drawing in, okay? So stick with me and we're gonna be just fine. Okay, so what I want you to do, now our alligator, we're gonna do our alligator all the way across our piece of paper. So we need to start right over here on the left-hand side, okay? So what I want you to do first of all is a very simple, oops, very simple semicircle like that. Nice and small over on the left-hand side of your page, very easy. Then at the bottom right-hand, uh, the bottom right-hand side of your semicircle, I just want you to draw a little tiny line, very small line, like that. And then I want you to draw another one of those semicircles, exactly the same, like that. Okay, next, I want you to draw a very straight line, as straight as you can, all the way over. Let's go, how far should we go? Let's go to about here, I think, like that. So we've done semicircle, line, semicircle, long line. Guess what we're gonna do next? What do you think? That's right, a semicircle. Exactly the same as the others. One. Do you know what we're gonna do the same again? We're gonna do a little line. There. Oh, it's quite hard to know what we're drawing at this stage. If you were asked to ask me what to guess what we were drawing, I'd never guess it was gonna be an alligator, but wait and see. It's gonna take shape before your very eyes. Okay, next thing, guess what? We're gonna do another straight line. Really long, probably the same length again, if not a little tiny bit longer, but we're gonna stop about there, I think. That should probably be roughly right. Now, here's where it gets exciting. So we're gonna do a U-turn. We're gonna turn around quite quickly like that. And we're gonna draw another straight line. And this time it's gonna go slightly upwards, just gonna go slightly uphill, can you see what I mean? We'll probably stop about there, I think. So it's going slightly, not flat, it's going slightly like that. Okay, now I want you to turn around again. We're going to make this quite a sharp point here, like that. And we're going to go back. And again, we're going to go slightly, well, it's probably in a straight line actually, but what we want is we want this shape that we're drawing to start off very thin there and just get gradually sort of fatter and fatter as we come away. Like that sort of thing. 
And we're gonna go to, let's go to that curve there, we're gonna go up to there, like that, okay? Right, the next thing that we need to do is, we're gonna do another curve. We're gonna basically, we're gonna turn around here and we're gonna come back along here. But what I want you to do, we need to make this area a bit fatter than it was before. We don't want it to be too thin, okay? So we're gonna go along a bit further. Do you see what I mean? And we're gonna come down a bit further than before, like that, okay? So you can see, it's like, uh, I'm gonna tell you what this is. This is the crocodile there. Crocodile, not crocodile, alligators. Crocodiles get so cross when you call them alligators and vice versa, and I shouldn't have done that, I'm sorry. This alligator's tail is very narrow here, but it gets fatter and fatter and fatter, and then we're gonna turn around into the alligator's body. Okay, so then once we're around here, I want you to carry on. Oh, I went a bit wobbly there, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm trying to do it as straight as I can. But it's not, not doing a very good job of a straight line. And I want you to come all the way up here, past the point where we started, and then just past that, I want you to curve up and stop before we get up to level with that point. So we're gonna stop while we're still below there, okay? Okay, now then, yet another straight line. There's lots of straight lines in this drawing. This time we're gonna come back along here, underneath that other straight line that we did in the two sets of um, semicircles. And we're gonna go past both sets of semicircles, a little way past them actually, probably about there. And then we're just gonna turn up a little bit, but stop before we get to the top. And you can probably see that we've drawn our alligator's mouth like that. Okay, now what I want you to do next is where this very first shape that we did is here, I want you to carry that down, straight down and join up there with the bottom of his mouth. Because you see his jaw is just sort of sticking out a little bit. Now then, it's time to add our alligator's teeth in, isn't it? So let's do that. Do you know what? I'm gonna to switch to a thinner pen for this, just for me. So I'm grabbing just a slightly thinner pen. That one's, I'm not happy with that one. That's better, this one's better. Okay, so what I want you to do is simple triangle shape like that, coming up out of that area there. And that is gonna be the first of our alligator's teeth. Now, I want you to add lots more teeth along here like this. Now you can have as many or as few as you like. I'm gonna do quite a lot. And you know what's quite fun to do? Sometimes you can do one going down like that. Because I think alligator's teeth just do that sometimes. They go down, up, up, do one down. Let's do another one down, up. And we're gonna keep going right until we get to the end. And look, whoa. What a set of gnashers. Okay, now then, should we give our alligator some eyes? This is the place where our alligator's eyes live. So what we do, in the middle of that upside down U shape, we're just gonna draw a nice neat circle, like that. And we're gonna do another one in there. Now then, our alligator's gonna have a sort of a bit of a lazy look in his eyes, because they spend a lot of time, don't they, just sort of lying around in the water, or sort of basking in the sun. So he's a very, this guy's a very chilled out alligator. So what we're gonna do, straight across the middle of that circle, we're just gonna draw a line, like that. And the same on the other one, like that. And that, at the moment, looks like he's asleep. We don't want him to be asleep, so what we're gonna do is just add a tiny little pupil underneath that line. We do it off to the side a bit, so it looks like our alligator's looking this way a bit. He's just looking quite sleepy and sort of lazy as he lies in the sun. Oh, I like this one. This is good, this one, isn't it? Okay, now this is our alligator's nose, so we're going to do some little nostrils. Do you remember how I do nostrils? I start with a little black circle like that, and then I do a little swirly shape like that. I'm going to do the same on this one as well. There we go. Our alligator has some nostrils. Now then, I'm gonna go back to my original pen here because I wanna give our alligator some legs. The first leg we're gonna do here, and it's gonna be like this. So just past where the mouth is, or quite a long way past, so halfway between where the mouth is and where the curve of the tail is, but down the bottom, we're gonna draw a little curvy line like that, just coming off the bottom of his body. 
and then a little way to the right of that we're going to do one exactly the same shape like that and this is going to be one of our alligator's legs and then we're going to give him some little pointy toes so we're going to do a line that comes out there and then it goes back into a little point like that and we're going to do a little mini triangle like that we're going to do another sort of triangle that's a bit stretched out like that and then this side we're going to do almost opposite to what we did in the first place and that's our alligator's foot that's spread out as he's standing on the ground and the other one we're going to do which is going to which would be on the other side of his body but we're going to do it so you can just see it coming coming down here behind his mouth we're going to do another little curve again we're going to do exactly the same thing with his feet just like that and we're going to go back up there and there are our alligator's feet then we're going to do another one over i think we'll do it over here shall we right down here we're just going to do another thing exactly the same two curvy lines little pointy toes one two three like that and i think the other one would be sort of behind there so we're not going to draw that because it's sort of hidden behind behind his body Okay, we are nearly there now with our alligator. The only other thing to do, they sort of got these lumps and bumps all along their back and around and along their tail. Now, this is the good thing about doing these kind of cartoony drawings. We can do this quite rough and quite kind of quickly. So what I want you to do is just to add just some little kind of upside down U shapes, a bit like that very first one we did. We're gonna do a few sort of along here, like that. We're gonna follow the curve of his back around, like that. And then we can, I think it's quite nice. We sort of overlap these lines a little bit here when we did the feet. And I think we can just do the same here and make it a bit of a, a bit of a sketchy sort of alligator. And we're gonna do them like that. And then I think when you get to about here, we can just start adding them almost on top of the tail, like that. We're going to go right to the end of our tail with our sort of lumpy, lumpy texture, just like that. And then maybe you can add a few more bits and pieces here and there, wherever you think you need to add them. But they're always the same sort of thing. In fact, it's quite nice when you do a couple of layers of them, like that, I think. I'm going to add even a couple going over this line here, like that, make it a lovely, sketchy kind of alligator. And look, really nice, really starting to take shape. Now, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more texture just on the underside of our alligator, okay? So, do you remember when we drew, we drew um, a dinosaur? I think it was Gregosaurus we did this on. We added some little dots and circles, just a few little dots and circles, just on the underside of his tummy, just like that. A few little dots and circles, a few little bits and pieces, and all that does it just suggests that the skin has got a sort of rough, sort of reptilian texture. I think alligators are reptiles, aren't they? Somebody will probably write in and tell me I've got that wrong, but I don't think so. I think they are reptiles. I think they're the closest living thing to dinosaurs, aren't they? Alligators, I think they, whenever I see them on David Attenborough programs, things like that, I always think, wow, they look prehistoric these guys they look like they they've been around for a long long time i think they have so there you go i'm just adding some dots and circles bits and pieces let's add a couple on his legs like that there you go that's pretty cool isn't it that's pretty cool now then my favorite thing to do we're going to add a little bit of shadow just around the feet just a little bit to make it look like the feet are on a surface i don't need to do too much i don't think with this one just a little bits and pieces here and there. And now I think it's time to colour in our alligator. I'm gonna have a go at using some watercolours here. Now, I don't have a green watercolour, so I'm gonna do something quite clever here. I'm gonna use my yellow and my blue, because when yellow and blue mix together, you get green. So I'm gonna do this super speedily, but you should still be able to see how this works. I hope it does work. If it doesn't work, then you probably will never see this video because I'll have to start again, but I think it's gonna work. So. Here we go, super speedy colouring in. After three, one, two, three. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. A finished drawing of an alligator. Did you notice that I've colored in the background yellow? It's because I smudged, look got smudginess all over my hand. Can you see that? And I smudged all around here. So I thought, oh dear, I know I'll paint in the whole background yellow to hide it, but it didn't work, did it? But you know what? I say this quite often, don't I? I always think those little mistakes sometimes are the nicest bits of a drawing because it really does make it look like somebody has made it by hand. If it's too perfect, then it looks like it's just been done on a computer or something. And sometimes it's nice to know that you've done something by hand. Anyway, I wonder how your alligators have turned out. I can't wait to see them. Maybe you've done yours in different colours to mine, something like that. Um, it doesn't really matter. But if you would take a picture of your drawing, that would be fabulous. I'd love to see them. If you just tag them with the hashtag draw with Rob and maybe include my social media tags on Twitter. I think on Twitter I'm at Rob Bidolf and on Instagram I'm at R Bidolf. And if you're looking at this on Facebook, if you add your picture in the comments below the post, that's the most likely place that I'm going to see it because I get thousands and thousands of pictures you see and I really want to see everybody's. So why don't you do that? I forgot to sign my picture, haven't I? I can't believe I nearly did that. I'm going to sign mine down here. I'm going to write my full name this time. I don't usually do that, do I? But there we go. Full name, Rob Bidolf. There, a little kiss underneath. So there we go. That's how you draw an alligator. I hope you've had fun during this lesson today. And listen, I'm going to be back very soon for another Draw with Rob episode. Until then, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.